fighting final. Formalities are underway, everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding final. The world-famous Camp Nou in Barcelona, a stadium fit for the grandest of occasions. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Two teams, Jim Beglin, with one common thought, to have their names on this famous trophy. Bringing back memories for me, Peter, a chance to have your name in the club's history. Having had the privilege of experiencing this uh, a fair few times in my own career, there really is nothing that compares. Once you get there, you want to keep coming back. I still feel like that now. Final gets on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and, and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Marvellous goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that... Absolutely brilliant, I wasn't expecting that. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Argentina have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big... Kane has got himself a free kick. And it's Chilwell. Trippier. out for a goal kick hoist it forward Messi Argentina are enjoying a good spell right now and leading Back into the middle, and he's there to cut it out. Messi. And here's Di Maria. Striding forward, facing goal. He's going after it. Not 
the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. What a throw in. Greenish. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Trippier. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1 0. And it's Greenish. Greenish spreads it towards the left. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Henderson. And here's Greenish. Goes for goal. Yes, it's in. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. And it's messy. And he's cut it out. Sees it out of harm's way. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. What it has been, an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more teams that are willing to throw everything they've got at this. It's a treat for me. Argentina head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge. So we're just settling back into this second half. And the finish! It's broken loose. Gets good distance on it. And he nearly went all the way. Well, he tried to go it alone, and he wasn't too far away from pulling it off either. Everything was there apart from the finish. Trippier. And it's played forward. Gets a good foot in there. Messi. Di Maria. Now it's Messi. Messi. He's gone for it! Goal! Argentina! And they get themselves in front! Argentina are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. And the ball's come out, Trippier. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it, this is what they have to do. a foul, simple decision for the referee Rice and here's Kane England can make their change now with uh, a break in play so we have a double substitution going on here
England are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. But there's going to be another change here. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Played into the middle. That's a brilliant interception. Just brushed off the ball there. Messi. Forward it goes. Talia Fico. And here's Dybala. Messi. Argentina need to hold on for a few more moments. Argentina can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Keeper's got good distance on that. Rice tries to get it forward quickly. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Argentina are the winners. The ceremony is fitting. Their triumph has been beautiful indeed. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.